Okay. Uh, could you go ahead? Let's let's start over from the beginning. Could you go ahead and tell me your name and uh, the history of the clan you're in, and uh, you know how long have you been in your clan? See, my name is Nate. I'm in the dark. I've been there <clears throat> for about a year and a half now. Uh, the history goes back uh, a little bit farther than that. Um, I don't even have the. I don't even have it for me. I can only speak so far as uh, I've been in it. Okay, so I mean, I've I've uh, I've seen the clan like even when I started playing the game, like I saw it in the dark, and you guys have been uh, pretty much you know around for a while, and you guys have been growing. But um, how, what do I want to ask? Like, how have you guys been doing in wars and just upgrading throughout the game? Well, from what I know, it's it's one of the original farming clans, and uh, I mean, clan wars is been quite a, a twist to the game so we've, we've been able to do well because so many guys had been taking farmers and managed to, to get the upgrades on the base and then try to transition that to land wars I mean I guess to farm you have to attack so frequently and it's been home to some of the most skilled farmers in the game and I think everyone's just learned a lot as soon as they as they just want to just share a lot of techniques and uh Yeah, you know you, you know what I could agree with that. I've I I would see in the dark now as like a farming clan because I've seen even some of your members are like fully maxed out. They're only masters. <laughs> so I mean is that the goal? You guys are trying to just get all your members maxed out before you go trophy pushing? Well I mean I think, I think that's the goal of a of a lot of, of the members. Um only so many people have the, the time to dedicate to get there. I see, yeah. So, uh, dang, I, I I know you guys had a leader, Rattlesnake. She didn't want to interview with me. That's cool. But uh, do you, how do you guys feel about having, is, is she a female? Is she a girl leader? Oh, yeah, she's great. I mean, uh, I, don't, I don't know how to explain this, but sometimes having a female leader is uh, kind of an advantage. They, they need to be a little bit more compassionate and level-headed. Yeah, I kind of picked up, like, I can see your clan, you guys are really, like, uh, I don't know how to say this, like, you guys are really kind of, like, bump heads a lot, and you guys joke around and stuff, so I can see how maybe a, a woman leader would, you know, squash that a little bit and get more serious. But, uh, you know, you guys have a really good clan, and, um, I, I mean, with this update, I guess I just wanted to ask you some questions, like, how how do you feel about the update so far, and could you give us some insight about how you're handling it, and what your strategy is when you play the game? Well, let's see. I mean, I guess the way I feel about the update is it's, it's always tough to adjust to the change. You know, I've um, been playing for a while, and every time there's a new update, it seems like there's there's something to complain about, but I just, I kind of try to have a little bit of faith in the super self developers that they're, you know, making changes for the overall uh, good of the game as it goes forward, and so I mean, I feel like it's just a matter of trying to adapt and, and see where, where it's at now. And I, I don't know if anyone's um, quite got it down to the eyes yet, but people are working on them. Yeah, I can agree. So, so you you basically adapted to the game pretty well, and you you're not having too much trouble with uh, the hero nerves. And uh, what, what what kind of strategy are you using, are you using with your troops? Well, right now I'm still sticking with uh, the golems, wizards, and witches. I think maybe it's just because I'm more comfortable with them. I haven't had too much luck integrating the the new Pekka into my army. Um, I mean, as far as the hero nerves, it's, it's definitely made it more difficult to to win all the time. You know, it uh, makes three stars more difficult, even two stars on max base and four difficult. But uh, I think that maybe that's how it should be. I mean, I think a lot of people would have agreed that offense was a little overpowered before the update. So before the update, people were complaining that the heroes were overpowered, and then so they nerfed it, now they complain that it's too weak. And, you know, you can't make everybody happy all the time. Oh, yeah, I see. I can see you're handling the upgrade pretty well. And, uh, I mean, do you are, are you still farming or are you pushing? Oh, I'm farming, yeah. I'm, I'm not really trying to get trophies. That, it's a little too stressful, and I, I just don't enjoy it that much. So I am working to get 
I am working to get a back base like some of the other guys were able to in the clan. Um, it takes a long time, you know. What would you say is the the troop that majority of your clan uses for farming? Because you mentioned witches and golems and stuff. That's I feel that's more of like a trophy pushing clan. Maybe you guys use that in in clan wars. But what do you what do you use for when you farm? Oh, yeah, that's clan wars. When when we farm, we use a lot of balloons and minions, pretty much. Oh, is that right? The balloons. Oh yeah, yeah. For the most part, almost almost all of our members use balloons. Yeah. Do you think it's a little harder now to use that troop now that the update has the hero staying inside? I don't know. I mean, I guess you only got to worry about the queen, and I, I don't think it makes that much of a difference. I mean, for farming, I mean, some of our guys drop and go for the collectors, and others others do the opposite, and they they raise their trophies because at that point, defensively, people are putting their soldiers outside. So, I mean, there's, there's a couple different ways to get the loot, but people figure it out. All right, and uh, I guess my final question is, what what would you like to see in the update? Like future things that Supercell could bring out for your clan or for everyone. Well, I know. <laughs> I mean, I was hoping to max the base at, at some point in my life, but I know that some of these guys that um, are hardcore farmers that managed to max the base, I think that maybe Town Hall 11 would be good for them. Town Hall 11, <laughs> dang. Just looking for something to work on now. Do you think? But, but I, you know, I've I've actually seen in the forums a lot of people are talking about Town Hall Living. They they said, uh, will it will it be a good or a bad thing for the game? And I'm kind of I'm I'm on the fence with that. I don't I'm not sure if that'll make it better or worse. But I do know if they do go up a Town Hall Living, maybe that might mean we'd have to go up another level in walls. Do you think that might hurt the game? I mean, I don't know if it would hurt the game. It's, I I look at it from the point of view as a, a farmer and farming clan, so, um, and like I said, in some ways it puts the, the ultimate goal a little bit more distance, but in another way, it, it, it's just something to work on, you know, and I don't know, everyone likes cool new upgrades, if you can get them. Yeah, that's true, that's true. And uh, you think this should be just for the town hall, or um, just for the people that have been playing a while, because I, I get a lot of... Uh, you know, I see a lot of complaints where they're saying it should be for everyone. You know, we should have updates for everyone and not just the Town Hall 10 players. Well, they, offer, they are for everybody. I mean, everybody can get Town Hall 10. I mean, <laughs> it just takes a little bit more work. You know, there are some people that will break out the credit card and get it, you know, in a couple of hours of update hitting. So. All right, yeah. You can go either one. Yeah, well, hopefully, you know, the, uh, we can see some of that stuff coming up pretty soon. Uh, so did you want to give a shout-out or anything to your clan uh, while they're watching the video? I, I mean, hey, guys. <laughs> they know what's going on. <laughs> All right. Hey, thank you uh, so much, uh, Nathan Cogswell. Is that how you say your name? It is. Uh... <laughs> hey, well, thank you so much for having the interview with me. Uh, hopefully uh, the fans love this and we get to see some really good replays from your clan. Hey, thanks for the opportunity, man. Take care. You too. Bye-bye.